Welcome to this Traders Helping Traders session. THT is a series of bonus materials that helps traders in the trading pit chat room, elite room, and forums voluntarily. They, oca they also occasionally hold live webinars in the elite trade room on the weekends or evenings. THT traders are traders whom trade the apexinvesting.com trading system created by Daryl Martin. The purpose is to help you see how we as traders are just like you applying the systems and tools provided by Apex every day in our own trading. Of course, the normal disclosures apply. Trading involves risk and is not suited for everyone. Please see apexinvesting.net for full disclaimers. I want to remind everyone that this THT is not a substitute for watching the trading videos. It's a bonus. I'm Kevin Jean Charles and in today's session the topic that I'll present is market replay settings and DOM. Hello everyone this is Apex Elite Room Leader Kevin Jean Charles you know me in the room is KJ. This is a follow-up video from my THT Executing for Excellence with Trend Catcher Part 1 video which I go through an eight hour day of how to execute trades. Thank you for all your feedback and your great support with the video and for all your involvement in the room. Now that video is about one hour but, I, but it shows you a complete day of executing confirmed trades. Um, if you haven't seen it before I definitely suggest you check that video out. In this part two follow up THT executing factors video I'm going to give more details um, into market replay, um, the NQ settings and the DOM settings that I use. So if you feel like your settings are fine, you may want to skip to actually the part three video, which which where I'll go over account management with the trend catcher. Now in part two video executing for excellence, market replay settings and DOM, I'm going to show you where to get the market replay so you can install it. Then, I, then we're going to go into how you load the market replay charts. Then I'm going to show you my NQ DOM settings. I'm going to show you my NQ, uh, when I say NQ, I mean my NASDAQ <laughs> uh, settings for the trend catcher. For the, and also I'm going to show you the Austin chart settings and then the chart trader. Now I want to start off by saying we don't know what the market's going to expect. How we can put ourselves in the best position to respond and execute for excellence. And executing for excellence with the trend catcher means we have great trend catcher settings in place. We have our Austin confirmation chart settings that are all in place. We have the right DOM and we have the right chart trader settings in place. Now when all of our settings are in place, we load up the market replay. We receive successful results during market replay. Then we demo in real time. Then we go live. First, I'm going to show you where to install the market replay. Basically, you go to the link that's on the bottom of the Apex site. So we're going to go to the Apex site here. We're just going to go to the bottom. You'll see the link right there. It'll pop up, and then you'll install it from that website there. Now after you have installed it, you're going to go and open up NinjaTrader. Just going to show you is the Ninja Trader Control Center, right? You're going to hit File, then you're going to go to Utilities, then you're going to go to Batch Download Replay Data. You're going to hit L1 
data and L2 data. L2 data is actually going to show you how when for the tick when it ticks in the in the amounts. What we'll do is we're going to just go back to the 16th. And we're going to go down now, depending on how far you go back, you want to keep in mind the rollover dates of the particular instrument that you have. And the dates, unfortunately, are right here. Okay, right now, we're on the NQ0615 contract. We're just going to click that right there. Now, in the case of this, this this 0615 contract, 031315 is actually the start date. Now, that date actually fell on a Friday. So, typically, what we do is we just start on the next Monday. So, we'll, that's why I'm actually going to the 16th, if you notice it right there. So, basically, that contract started on Friday, but we're going to go ahead and start market, market replay on the 16th. And we hit download wait for it to download It downloads very quickly, which is great. So now we're just downloading the, the replay data. Now while that's downloading, if you're totally new to Apex, if you go to the site, and you go to home, and you hit start here, it's going to totally show you how to get started and get all your data feeds in place. Alright. It's a very easy five step process to get your data feeds in place. I'm just totally doing this so you could see the entire process. Okay, maybe you want to get a little drink of water or something while that on. <laughs> it's not too bad. Right. Almost there. I mean, it's loading a lot of data. All the tick data, so it looks exactly the same way that it was real time. Which is awesome. This is extremely powerful tool to get you up and going and to get you the confidence that you need. So. Okay, so now it says download complete. We hit OK. Close this out. We're going to connect to our live feed. I call it AMP Live.
Okay, now that we have our live feed connected, we're going to hit File. Then we're going to go to Workspace, Open Workspace, and we're going to go to Easy Open. Easy Open just loads one chart right away, so you know I have multiple charts, so Easy Open is just going to load one chart. Okay, now that I have my easy open chart loaded, I'm going to go and load my workspace chart. Go to open, and I like to date my workspaces and my templates. And I'm going to load those. Okay, so now that I have my chart loaded on my NQ0615 connected to my CQG feed, I'm going and I have my data is already downloaded. I'm going to go to to file. And if you want to know how to um actually bring up your DOM, you're just going to go to new and you're going to hit static superdome. That's going to bring up the DOM right here. And for charts, you're going to go to new, you're going to hit chart. That, that'll bring up your chart as well. But for now, we're going to go ahead and disconnect from our AMP live feed. Then we're going to go file, and we're going to connect to our market replay connect. We're going to hit market replay connection. Now just wait, it can take some time to load. Okay, so now that we have a replay loaded, you're going to see this replay play, pause, and fast forward button pop up. And no matter where it's at, Now notice right here it says loading data. You just want to wait till everything is loaded. Don't touch anything until loading data is finished. So you don't see anything right there saying loading data. Okay, now that it looks like all of the data has been loading, what we're going to do right here is just press play. I'm going to make sure that it's uh, time is going by. Now we loaded starting date the 16th and it's popping up 325. Just want to see if it's working. Fast forward it a little bit. And see in the beginning it's always going to be a lot slower because it's midnight. It's not much volume at midnight. So <laughs> now we know it's working. So we hit calendar we're going to go back to the 16th where we started loading our data and we're just going to wait again. You can 
it's going to bring it back to the 16th. Okay, so now press play. And we're at the 16th. And we could just keep fast forwarding. We can speed up and we can notice that our replay data is a replay is ticking, which is good. You'll also want to make sure your DOM is on the right contract. So you see NQ 0615. And we can hit fast forward. And you can go up to, it's so cool, you can go up to like 500 times the speed. All right, to get all your practice in. All right, and if you hit count, it's actually going to show you realized profit and loss as you practice your replay. All right. So now that we've loaded the charts in market replay, now I'm going to show you the trend catcher chart settings that I, rec that I received directly from the forum. Go to indicators, trend catcher, these are the settings. The schedule that I'm on is actually a 9.30 to noon schedule, I don't have it saved in there, but these are the settings. Really should only be messing with this area right here. I'll also show you so you how you this is in the trend catcher course, but I'm just going to show you where to go in order to find the settings. Once again, you're going to go to the Apex website. You're going to go down to here to Elite Trend Catcher Preset Parameters, for Futures, Forex, Back. It's going to pull up all the different parameters with all the particular instruments. We are looking for the NASDAQ. It's also called the US Tech 100. We're going to go to trends since we're doing actually, tr these are trend settings. And we're going to go to the 12 tick. These are the settings that I use. I've been doing some updates, but I go to 12 tick right here from Scott. And they're pretty much the same. One schedule is 24 7, the other one is 930 to 6 to 1600 hours. That's 4 p.m. Eastern time, so 9.30 or 4 p.m. Eastern time. And they show you, um, Daryl shows you this in the course, but you just cut, pretty much copy, control C, control V. Go back to indicators and you would put it right in this area right here. I already have it in at a 9.30, 12 schedule, but I just wanted to show you that as well. That way you can <coughs> see how to get this, the regular chart settings. Now, when actually using the schedule that I use from 9.30 to noontime, the drawdown is 54, and I'll go a little bit more into the drawdown and how to do the math behind that in the account management section in part three of executing for excellence. But I just wanted to show you that right now. Now we're gonna go look into the DOM settings. If you right click on the DOM, if you go to properties, it's gonna show you the super DOM property settings. And this is the area you wanna mainly be concerned with. And you could see the settings there. Um, 
one of the main things you want to make sure your stop limit offset is set to 3. Now, in terms of executing on the DOM, it's very important to know the this C button right here. It's, the, it's uh, centers the last traded price on this side. You want to actually basically for the DOM, you want to have a really good mouse. Um, you need a good mouse button with a with a good middle mouse button. Um, and on the left side here is where you're going to place buy orders and you're going to always place penny buy orders above price so this is price right here currently let's go like that that's a pending order right use that to close it out now for sell you're going to go to the right side and for placing pending sale orders you're going to go underneath price it's going to be right there like that hit your middle mouse button you close it out now in terms of the mouse as well you wanna if you're using a wireless mouse you wanna have actually a wire mouse in place that way as backup just in case like when you're executing an order you're in an order if your wireless mouse stops working you have that right there so well, things never happened to me, but I've just learned from experienced traders that you always want to have wi wired mouse. Now that you've seen the DOM, I showed you a little bit how to work it. Um, for setting up ATM strategy, I use stop losses 20, and I use take profit 70. Just click it right there. Um, you could go here. I already have it saved, but if I didn't have it saved, you just go to custom and you hit. I'll just do it like I didn't have it saved, so you just totally see it. You hit custom 20. type it in a little faster 70 right and now right click manage strategic templates and I have a bunch of different templates in here but this is where you would actually put and you would just type in I like to do I did NQ I like to do 12 tick seven profit one quantity and you would hit save all right but since i have it already saved i'm just going to go back to my settings the way i had it like that all right <coughs> so that's now you've seen the dom and the dom settings you know how to work it a bit now we're going to go to the austin confirmation chart we're going to um I like to call it the Austin Confirmation Chart because Austin did a great job of putting it together to make it easier to confirm entries. This is how we do it right now, currently. There will be some more improvements coming, but this is how we're doing it currently. Um, and let me give you the settings for this chart. And save you some time. You could also visit, the, um, you could also watch, Austin has a 15 minute video on how to set up settings for other instruments but these are the particular NQ settings for the 12 tick right there so you have it All right. now we now basically the way the chart works is if we are in a pending buy order like that before price reaches there we want to make sure that it is green to enter and if we're in a pending sale order we want to make sure that it's red pending buy right there green pending sale order red All right. okay now that you have market replay up and running with the right settings 
I'm going to actually go to the you can move on to the third part of the video and we're going to talk a bit about account management.